Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to apply labels in Team Foundation Server 2013 using Visual Studio. Applying label is very important if you're working in a complex environment. I'm going to give you a scenario. Let's say that you're working on a project um, and there are seven uh, team members and everyone works on their particular piece of code and they check in everything in that project is completed however that is your first release it would be a great idea that if you apply label to that whole project and call it let's say release one and once that's there then you can back that um, particular label uh, and put it in maybe in different folder in Team Foundation Server and start working uh, on release 2. So applying label is very important in that uh, particular context. So I'm going to show you how to apply label. So we're going to go in the server. This is my client server. This is my Visual Studio. I'm connected with my um, Team Foundation Server. So we're going to go ahead and this is let's say that this is my project where everybody was working seven folks were working everything is completed now it is ready for our first release so we're going to go ahead and right click and go in advance and hit apply labels so let's say call it release version release one maybe 1.0 and call it this is our first release of this project and you can choose the versions uh, up here that um, you can uh, apply the label using the change sets dates labels latest version or workspace it's always uh, as far as I'm concerned it's always a good idea to get the latest version from team foundation server and apply that label to that uh, especially if it's going to be your first release so we're gonna go ahead and uh, um, select the version latest version and go ahead and hit create As you can see right here, that uh, chain set seven successfully checked in, chain, chain set eight successfully checked in, and label release 1.0 is created. So this is how you create labels on different uh, uh, piece of codes in um, the Team Foundation server, and um, I hope this helps.